Welcome back and my name is Bruce Malawudi. I'll be taking you through this video uh, series in configuring Apache Web Services. This is part two of the video and we are configuring a simple web server. Our objective is to configure a simple web server that will save its page on that address. And then we, we, we are required to download a web page from the central web uh, server and once we download the page we'll place it into the, the default uh, document root of the Apache web server and we're not supposed to modify the contents of the web page now the solution these are the steps we need to take when solving this um, this scenario uh, the first step of the solution is to enable and start uh, the Apache services after that we supposed to uh, add HTTP or can I say the Apache services to the firewall exceptions step 3 we need to download the page into the uh, default document root and then we rename the page to index HTML by default Apache reads the uh, pages uh, by index dot uh, html if you don't rename it to that apache by default you won't be able to read your your page on the step four we just have to restart apache and finally on step five we just have to test if apache is working yes intended so let's get to the terminal All the configurations will be done here on uh, test one machine and I just have to log in so I just have to find to uh, confirm if Apache was enabled and still running so I just have to say system control status HTTP so the service is running and it was enabled so I just have to proceed So the next thing I need to do is to visit the firewall. So I just have to see if the firewall is currently um, enabled and running as well. That will be firewall D. By mistake, I made a type. firewall is running and it's also enabled so we're good to go clear the screen so I need to add Apache to the firewall exception that will be firewall CMD permanent this is the very important option permanent add service So you can add you can add Apache as a service that will be HTTP, or you can add using a port that will be port 80. Now I need to restart my firewall. That will be firewall CMD reload, and also I need to confirm if the changes were applied. That will be firewall CMD services so I have HTTP here added to the file exception so we can proceed so far so good and by default the document root of the Apache web services is actually the var uh, log sorry it's the var www.html so this is this is the default uh, uh, document root for Apache. So in this scenario, we've been asked to download a web page into that document root and then rename it into index.html. Before we download, I'd like to 
I'd like to show you how you can create a simple HTML file and then just to use it for testing. So let's create one. So you can use your any favorite uh, text editor. Uh, before I do that, let's change directory into the document root that will be far www.html and check the contents at the moment the directory is empty so we can create the index file that will be vim index.html html and i can say save that and check if it was there okay it's written um, all I need to do now is to restart the Apache services that will be let me clear the screen system CTL Services restarted, thereby I can use elix to check HTTP local host. There it is, there's the test page. So let's see how it looks like on, um, on Firefox. So I just have to press Q to quit. So let me start Firefox. Here yeah, I am on Firefox. I just have to navigate to localhost. There you are. This is Bruce testing, as you can see right there. So that's how you create a simple uh, index.html file. So let's exit that or close Firefox and let's remove the index file which created earlier and download the one required. So it's empty. Now we can download the required index file that will be we get an HTTP IPA server dot example dot com pub index main okay the file has been downloaded as you can see right there now I just have to rename it. So to rename, I'll just use the mv command. So that will be rename that and rename it to index.html. And double check if it was renamed. Yes, it's renamed correctly. Now what we need to do, um, the main configuration to the Apache web server is found right here. That will be let's get under etc uh, http d uh, let me double check on that that will be etc main Apache configuration file is right here that will be the etc uh, httpd slash com slash httpd com this is, this is the main Apache configuration so let's see what's inside so if we take a tour it's 
create a long um, um, a log configuration file and if you get if you get lost or stuck you just have to save the manual remember we installed the the manual earlier on so at the moment i just want to go through um, and show you the defaults if we get to scroll down right here As you can see here, the default document root is right there, var slash www slash html, and this is the, uh, the directory configuration. So during the exam, you have limited time, and you need to do your configurations in a quick way. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is, uh, when creating an Apache web server, you can actually add your entries to this main configuration file, or you can create your own using the virtual host. So, since we'll be creating a, a virtual host, that will be at the moment we have the main server running, and then we have the virtual host coming up and other virtual hosts coming below. It's the best best practice to create a new configuration file and Apache will read that configuration file and I think that makes it much cleaner and secondly you won't have to confuse yourself because this configuration file you're looking at right now has got lots of entries and if you make a mistake yeah, it, it's not easy to find where the mistake is so we will create one and the configuration files which needs to be created I'll show you which directory it will be placed into so let me clear the screen so if you need to create custom configurations you just have to go to etc folder http and uh, the uh, under conf d right here that's where we will place our um, our own configurations so if you have a look at it there are some files here but we're not using them just leave them as it is don't delete those files and don't edit them so we'll create our own file now apache will read those configuration files alphabetically so if you want your your your, your, your file to be read first uh, why don't you at least make it to be read the topmost on the, uh, in, in alphabetical order? What I'm trying to say is, our configuration file we can name it anything like um, 00 virtualhost.com. So that will be theme. We can call it 00. Sorry about that. zero zero which are worst and make sure that your configuration file has a my name is a dot com extension otherwise it won't uh, Apache will fail to read it now the next question is what do we fill in here so what I suggest you to do is to go to the open a new terminal. We can come right here actually. Uh, let me exit here. So one terminal is running. I'll open another tab and I will run. I will get the files of the uh, the main configuration that will be the etc dot httpd dot 
and scroll down so what I'm trying to say is for you to waste to, to save time take a pre uh, configured template and then you just have to edit uh, putting uh, just input edit to your requirements so let me scroll down I'm looking for this template here where the default is right here this is what I need so I just have to copy that into a text edit beside that I can go back to my other terminal and remember we were trying to create this file here right here zero zero right so i included zero zero so that the file can be read first What I have here, I have document root, the directory, and I'm missing this part here. Okay, let's edit that. So this is the default, and I don't need to change anything from here. Secondly, what I need to do is to go to the web browser, minimize that, web browser, <coughs> okay, and navigate to the manual, so that will be local host manual then scroll down to virtual host right here click virtual host and scroll down again scroll down to name based virtual host right here click name based virtual host then you scroll down this is what we need this template right here copy that template and get back to the terminal right here just paste it okay so you might be wondering um, that we created we are creating a new configuration what happens to the main configuration if you create a custom configuration Apache reads the custom configuration first before it reads the main configuration. So this is what we are doing right now. So let's tidy it up. Okay, remove that. That can be left as it is. We are missing uh, server name. Remember our server name is test1 example.com and the document root is www.html okay so this document root must correspond with that document scroll down one more entry is our server must listen on port 80 okay and this field you might have to delete but you can leave it so let's go through again so our directory is right here and this is our virtual host and its document root is under here so we just have to exit Start the server.
system CTL restart okay we made an error so let's go back something not supposed to be there this one here we have to remove it I have to remove this line because it's included in the main configuration file and save so let's restart again oh, I've got an error again so let's troubleshoot Okay, it's supposed to be HTML. it's also included in the main configuration so what is happening is that the, 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 the configurations files are actually um, conflicting so this should work so let me try to restart there you go it's working so let's review it again this is how it should look so I removed those configuration lines because the main configuration file and the custom were actually conflicting. So if I do like that, it will work 100% as you see. So the service has been restarted. And let's see if it's running correctly. running now we need to test so let's try let's go to the web browser firefox web browser and http test one dot example dot com now before before i test the web browser remember that i'm i've got it my dns entries are actually are saved, saved by this um, Linux box over here, the IPA server. So if you don't have, if if you don't have a DNS server, you have to define your host. That will be the. Um, you have to go into the etc host, into the etc host file, and then define your. The test one dot example uh, dot com so that will be like 192.168.15.10 and that is test one dot example dot com by now we don't need this because we are having a, a DNS server that is actually helping us so if you don't have one you have to define the etc host and then include that into your entries so coming back to the, to this machine over here, uh, so I said HTTP uh, test one dot example dot com. So there we go. There's the page. So it's working hundred percent. So what we need to do now is to is to get to to the client system the client machine and see if we can get those resources so start Firefox on the test tool machine as a client that will be 
http test1.xml.com so the web server is working as you can see uh, if i want to i can try from the kali box here yeah, i am in a kali box just have to log in as root start the web browser test one first of all can i ping test one i doubt if i can ping I think it's blocked but let's see okay it's blocked so it's not defined so I can define it that will be etc slash host and scroll down scroll down Now I can define that host because the Kali box is denied access DNS uh, DNS requests. So I just have to define it in the etc host. Okay, we're good to go. So let me ping. Yes, I can ping. So let me try to browse. So that will be on the browser HTTP test one dot example dot com. There you go, it's working. So the request came from here, and the server responded. So to summarize, in this video, we we actually um. In, uh, configure the simple web server and we downloaded a custom web page from the central web server into the server and we renamed it into index by default apache reads the index.html uh, file and then i also showed you how to uh, add the apache services to the firewall uh, enable the service start the service then I showed you how to create a custom configuration file apart from using the, 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 the default main configuration file. Using a custom configuration file makes your life easier when it comes to troubleshooting. And then I, I also showed you how to where and how to get the, uh, 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 the templates, Apache templates and create, to create your own using uh, the required information. So the first template, we got it from the main configuration file that is the etc, etc forward slash uh, httpd forward slash conf forward slash http conf. The second template, we got it from the manual itself where we navigated through a web browser navigated through the apache manual so we combine those two templates into into one um, uh, configuration uh, i'm talking about right here these files here so this is what we did and remember there are some entries which i removed here earlier on because they were actually making conf uh, co they were conflicting with the main configuration file so what you see right now on the screen, this is perfect. This is what you need to, to have in your default, sorry, in your custom uh, configuration file. And remember, your configuration file must be the first uh, alphabetically if you need Apache to read it first. So that is why I named this file as 00 and then something something. And then lastly, we also tested our web server by browsing using uh, for, uh, uh, from from the test to uh, client machine we also browsed from the Kali box as well Kali box has, 
uh, is denied DNS entries to that server. So that is why we added, we defined the, the host in the etc host file. So that's what you need to do as well. If your server doesn't have DNS, uh, if you don't have a DNS server, please define your web server in the etc host file. It will work perfect for you. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope this has been informative. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.